Welcome, one and all, for Nitya Shanti's book reading session on uh, Unified by Babaji, written by Roger Lanfear. Today we are into the second week. I hope all of us have read the first week time and again, understood and pondered over our quality. I request everyone to mute themselves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are muted. The flower. I hope everyone's on mute. Sunita Pradhan, I have uh, muted you. Please be careful when you log in the sessions. All right. So we were talking about our first week being beautiful, our introduction to Unified. God is love, so I am love. That's how it was. May I request for a reader? Um, would you want to read um, Bhavna or anyone else? So please. Ritu, would you want to read? I am not. Sorry? I can't hear you. You have to unmute yourself. I'm not so good in reading. <laughs> well, that's a limiting belief, but no problem. Bhavna, please continue. Second week, recognizing your higher self's name. Thank you. Sure, I'll do that. Thank you. Um, so second week, recognizing your higher self's name. You have experienced love in your heart, the gentle pulsation of creation in your heart. It is in the heart that we are connected to all of creation. And it is the love you feel that is the connector. The love is far more than a connector though, for love is the common denominator of everything and everyone. Science will one day find that common denominator, which Einstein called the unified field. It is the love, it is the love God's love, which is that unified field. When you sat quietly last week and allowed your attention to be with your heart, you experience love, God's love, your love, everyone's love. You experience the substance from which the entire creation is made. You experience the entire creation. It is this simple experience that now leads you to the profound. At least from the, your vantage point of view, it is profound. However, as you experience and the knowledge unfold, it won't seem profound at all. It will be simple and natural, easy and unflashing. Yet, if you knew now what you will experience in this course, it would seem profound. In the first lesson, you learned that your beautiful physical body is just a small po portion of yourself. The rest of, next please. The rest of yourself is made of the love you experienced as is all of creation. Since you can now feel that love, you can use it as a connection to the rest of yourself. That is what you begin to do this week. For now, it might be easier to differentiate between the term lower self and higher self. That is, of course, inaccurate. We are one self. Furthermore, our one self is one with everything and everyone else. We are all that same love. We are all one. We are all connected. That is a difficult concept to understand so long as you perceive only your physical body. You do seem separated and you experience separation. As long as you know your higher self and lower self are false terms, we will use them. They will help you in this stage of your unfoldment. Your higher self has never lost touch with its God's qualities. Unlike your lower self, your higher self knows everything. It is everywhere present. It is love personified and it longs to reunite your whole being. It constantly feeds thoughts to you about your nature. It nudges you into more perfect right action. It is always there as your servant to lead you to a life of love, 
abundance and safety. You experience the voice of your higher self all the time. Unfortunately, your own false fears and imaginations drown it out. Now you will begin to isolate that voice. Gradually, it will get louder. Gradually, you will rely on its wisdom because it is the source of perfect knowledge for you. It knows everything and has only one goal, that you live a happy, fulfilled, and abundant life. Your higher self has a name. This week, you learn that name. As with last week, sit quietly for five to 10 minutes with your attention focused in the heart. Feel the love, feel the pulsation, particularly feel that love energy radiates out from your heart. It will permeate every cell in your body. It will saturate everything around you. Be with that feeling. If thought come, let them bubble up. Don't resist them. Just feel the happy, joyful, blissful love. While in, you are enjoying that feeling of love, say these words. My beautiful higher self, please give me my name now. The name will be revealed to you. It may be a name you are familiar with, such as John, Mary, or Joshua, or it may be unfamiliar group of syllables, such as Ami, Anasya, Connor, or Samatri. And don't resist a name you identify with a master, such as Jesus, Buddha, Babaji, or Confucius. The name appears to you as a persistent thought. You might hear it audibly. You might see its letters. It might just be a comfortable thought. When it comes, write it down. Then in your next quiet period, notice if the same name comes to you. By the end of the week, the name of your higher self will be quite familiar to you. Now, it's perfectly natural for you to doubt at this stage. Of course, don't feel you need to doubt. But if you are uncertain, don't worry about it. Just continue to do these exercises. Soon, these doubts will melt away and you won't even remember them. The quiet period can be up to 15 minutes this week if you are enjoying the feeling of love. If the feeling of love goes away and you feel edgy or anxious, lie down a few minutes. In addition to your regular quiet period of love each day, read this week's text slowly, understanding each sentence. Throughout the day this week, whenever you think about it, say, I am love. And I send love to the name that comes to you. You can send love to another person, a plant, a dog, a situation, or anything. You can send it a few feet or across the continent. Feel the love go from your heart to wherever you are sending it. Know that it's not just a mental exercise. You are actually transmitting love energy, energy that definitely dissolves problems. This week, during the quiet moments before going to sleep, give a few words of thanks to your higher self for its guidance and love. Then transmit your love energy wherever you choose. Go to sleep transmitting love. How wonderful. Thank you. Do you want to summarize this for us, Bhavna? Yes, I can uh, definitely summarize because uh, I, um, I did this exercise before and then um, I think once you are in that stage of love, once you are in that stage of meditation, and as the book says that you just read it every day slowly and then you just ask your higher self for that name, it may come to you. It did come to me in the form of letters and uh, then two names were coming to me consistently then later on one name was more um, louder than the other one so I chose that name and then I still like that was done back last year in October but if I still close my eyes and think about that name for my higher self I think I can connect with them and then about transmitting the love energy I think it's so powerful I just love that uh, as many of you know that I live in USA and my parents, they live in um, India. So I cannot be there during this COVID time, right, with them physically. But can I be there with them 
with my energy of love yes i can so i found this way to be with them with my love energy and i find so much peace in this so i hope you all feel the same thank you bhavna pitri you want to share with us something with them yeah uh, i've done this chapter too just like uh, bhavna has and uh, the silence that you feel when you sit down and start communicating with yourself and with your higher self for now it is a profound silence which is deep which is comforting and you start radiating the same energy of love and uh, things around you start changing and it's visible for us uh, at least for me it was very visible because there was a state of uh, confusion there was a state of uh, you know um, anxiety because nobody knew what was happening so this particular chapter brought out a different kind of feeling within me which i think kind of at the end of the day uh translated in relationships and how things were around me so i think it's a very profound uh, chapter it kind of gives you a base from which you start building and uh there was only one name which kept coming no matter how many times i do it's uh, pragna paramita um i didn't know who it was but uh, later i learned that um it's the divine uh, goddess of uh, knowledge knowledge of self so that's when uh, i realized that you know there is a guiding force pushing you towards learning and reading this book yeah oh wonderful amazing fantastic thank you for sharing um uh, smita do you want to share something because we all new to this book so we have no idea what the book is unfolding but if you've done this and been there you want to share something we'd love to hear your experience of course we will be doing this book following it oh <laughs> yeah i just joined the book community and uh, started doing but i haven't continued it okay uh, yeah so that is why I, i wanted to do it again i i know it is profound and uh, i've been watch going through the um, you know chat so everybody is having some profound great lovely experiences so that i am sure that it's going to be happening no, no. Yeah, thank you yeah. thank you jayshree are you new to this book or you've done this book before you want to share something I know Roshni and a lot of us have never done the book so we can't even talk about it. I have done this book last time and and I think I could find the real shift within myself in doing it. And when I did this recognizing your higher self name uh, for me like you know praying and getting into that <clears throat> space and finding that good for me it was more connecting to the inner power with it and the same name kept coming back to me and even now when i close my eyes when i'm disturbed i can connect to that higher self i can come connect to that me and probably have a you know, feel the connection and okay so that was very powerful So I hope we all will also find the power just the way you Prithvi and everyone's feeling it so thank you for sharing everything about you ladies so let's go for a meditation if there's no discussion should we meditate or anything else just a small suggestion prachi yes prithvi uh if we can uh, after just looking at all the chakras and everything if we can sit silently for a while yeah. it really helps to connect perfect we'll do that we'll do. Uh, so while we are sitting down silently do we want the flute to play or we want it off no just keep it silent okay perfect
That's a down straight, a back straight. Our feet firmly placed on the ground. Our eyes closed. And let's wear a soft smile on our faces. Inhale, love inside you. Feel every part of you soaked in love. Exhale love. Inhale blessings. Feel every single cell of yours being blessed. Exhale blessings for the world needs them. Inhale divine guidance. Feel your body and yourself being guided. What we get is what we give. Let's share our light. Dear Gurus, in this realm or the others, dear guides in this realm or the others, dear teachers here or in any other universes, thank you for your divine guidance, for your knowledge, for enlightening us. We are all open and receptive to the learning. Please guide us as we enter this beautiful world of unified. Dear Mahaptar Babaji, Gurukhan Babaji, thank you so much for allowing us to read this wonderful book and find a higher self. May we all traverse this path of enlightenment under your divine guidance. Knowing that's all about learning it's all about getting enlightened. It's all about evolving. We are more centered, we are more balanced, we are more aligned, and we are more ready to embrace all that's coming our way. And with an open heart and an open mind, we are traversing this beautiful road of enlightenment, knowing you have our back. Our bodies are whole and complete just the way you made us. It's full of divine love, because that is a true nature. And this conscious body of ours is going through so much. And we make an effort to align it, to balance it. Let's imagine the golden white healing light entering your crown chakra. Whatever negativity or negative emotion or feeling of disparity, gloominess, anything dark, let's release that. We are truly a fireball of energy. Any unwanted emotions, Let's consciously let them go. Let's let go so easily, organically.
any doubts, any frustration, any guilt, any stress, any untoward feelings are now leaving my brain, my subconscious and conscious mind, and the minute they touch the white golden healing light, they all fade into oblivion. The white healing light cascades down and comes to my Ajna Chakra, my third eye chakra, opening it, enriching it. Any blockages I may have had in seeing my future are now clear, for I can simply and easily see what the future has in hold. Yet I flow joyously, allowing the divinity in me to guide me and my future. The white healing light cascades down to my throat chakra. Any blockages that I may have had which I could not communicate, I could not write, I could not express. They all are a matter of the past because now the chakra is energized, making me easy to share my reflections. The white healing light cascades down and reaches my heart chakra. My heart is full of love from all directions and all the sides possible. The love vibrates and enters me, filling me up more and more. The eternal love permeates within my body, within my heart. I am love. The white healing light further traverses down to my Manipura Chakra to my city of joy, where a thousand petty lotus exists, is blossomed, is opened. Now, whatever I desire is coming true. This week, I will be conscious to find the name of my higher self, to have an inward journey. And I know I will easily be able to go because I flow with love. As the white healing light traverses down to my sacred chakra, I know all is whole in my, in my body, my life. I am one with the universe. Any diseases, any discomforts, anything negative in my body, be it weight, be it disease, it just joins the white healing light and gets kaput finished. It just clears off. The white healing light further goes to the last chakra of mine, the root chakra. I'm hereby grounded, more rooted, more humble, more kind. The healing light Cascades down both my thighs, having divided into two. Anything negative, it just picks on the way and heals it. It comes to my knees, my calves, my heels, the soles of my feet, and into Mother Earth, the roots that are attached. I know this negativity is never to be found again, because I have let it go. Mother Nature, being the giver that she is, Janani, Janmabhumi, Dhatima, she enriches me through my roots by replenishing the negative with only the positive. The virtues of love, of devotion, of spirituality, of understanding, of kindness, of compassion enter my body, making me further whole and complete. Thank you Mother Earth. Thank you so much. Let's look up at our eye level and thank our wonderful life for an amazing past which has prepared us for our journey towards enlightenment. I thank my present for this beautiful journey where I am unfolding so much of divine knowledge. 
finding myself, finding my higher self. I am ready. As I traverse further, I know my life will be magic because I am creating it. It's going to be blessed with divine synchronicities because I am ready for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As I look up at the heavens above, I hug my universe knowing it has my back. The divinity for showering us with the divine blessings. The cosmos for showing us a Leela. The angels for curing us into the magic, for showing us they exist, for guiding us. The guardians for protecting us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spread your hands at the heart level, expand it on the left and the right. I expand my angel heart. I am a yes person. Whatever good comes my way, I receive it. I no longer resist the negative because I know all is possible and all is acceptable and all is welcome. I am open and receptive to all the goodness and abundance in the universe, mine or the others. And so it is. Let's close our hands together in front of our heart. Rub them. Feel the energy flow between your palms. Feel the warmth. Feel it tingle. Bless your head, the conscious subconscious. Bless your face, your ears, your neck, your feet pipe, your shoulders, your arms upper and lower, your hands and wrists. Upper back, middle back, spinal cord, lower back, hips. Bless your lungs. Bless your heart, feel it beat. Bless your liver, your stomach, kidneys, gallbladder, intestines, uterus, sexual organs, excretory organs, thighs, knees, calves, heels, ankles, soles, feet, and come back up. I bless the trillions of cells in my body. I thank the bones, muscles, tissues, fibers, blood circulation system for working on the optimum best. For I have been blessed with the gift of health and I'm so grateful. Thank you dear body for helping me, for aiding me to reach my spiritual best, to connect with the divine. Thank you for being healthy. Let's feel the love, light and blessings for each of us, our families and the world that needs healing in these tough, challenging times. Knowing that we are the super healers who can heal the world, share our inner love and let the love reach. Knowing every single soul makes a difference. Knowing this too shall pass and so it is. Lots of love, life, healing and blessings to you, Ritu, Jeshu, Anjuji, Bhavna, Shelly, Pratima Ji, Roshni, Sunita Ji, Pitti, Minakshi, Ankita, Poonam, Sudha, Radhika, Shvata, Kriti, Akshakriti, Isha, Archoy, Basabdatta, Sunita. Now, let's reflect in our inner self and feel the bliss of quietness. Let's connect inner. Let's go inward.
Now you can rub your hands, energize your eyes and gently open them, knowing it's an inward journey and we must reflect in these quiet moments on our own. Thank you for joining in. We shall see each other tomorrow morning at seven o'clock for our same learning of chapter week, chapter two, week two. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much.